Welcome back to another video, buddy. I am Coleman, and thank you so much for joining us on today's Island Survival Island <laughs> Let's Play series, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, last episode, I guess you missed it, we finished our dragon egg chamber. So we're holding up the dragon egg inside of here, which is freaking sweet. It looks great, exactly how I pictured it, and it just, it just adds a little something, something to it. Ladies and gentlemen, today, 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 we are going to try to build a flower farm. So... We need a bunch of dyes. I want to do a couple, maybe some pixel art. Um, but we got to find, like, this is beach, this is river. I think, if you look on the left, it's biome. I'm trying to find, like, a forest or some sort. I don't, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where can we try to build it? I want to try to build it over here or maybe out this way. Let's see where this will take us. Let's check this out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining today. I hope you're having a fan-freaking-tastic day. It's this cold ocean. I don't know if any flowers will spawn in the cold ocean. Do we have beach cold? Oh, forest. Where was that at? Forest? Is it in the middle of the... Yeah, it's in the middle. Hang on. Is there something over here or is it just all cold ocean? It's probably just all cold ocean. Deep cold ocean. Nice. Let me see. Let me see. I just want to fly around here because I want to make this flower farm it by in a in a good biome you know i don't want it to be in fully cold ocean let's see is this really are we building all in cold ocean is this really this whole thing is it because of the color of the water am i just an idiot and the color of the water will tell me like guarantee this is all cold ocean are we really that deep in the cold ocean all right this is rough I don't know if we could build it <laughs> in the middle where this forest was. The forest would be the best because we'll get a lot of flowers. But it's literally... Yeah, it's literally on top of this. Is this the only forest right here? Oh my god, it is. Okay, beach, forest. Does it go this way a little bit? Yeah, it's going to be tiny. Yeah, there's small sections in the forest. I wonder if we'll get anything in the beach. Let's just try it. Let's see what do we get in the cold ocean, and then if it doesn't work, we'll build another one. So, let me get to some building, and then I'll be right back. All right, I got a platform built. This should be a pretty easy, easy, easy tutorial. Okay, so let me see if I can remember how to do this. It's going to be... It's going to be all dirt. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, let's let's take off one of these just for now, um, just so I think it, uh, the pistons can push it. So the goal is, you know, all y'all have seen the the flower farms. Basically, we're just gonna be shifting dirt around. Hey, big guy, I gave you a spot to spawn. I apologize. Um, basically, we're just gonna be shifting dirt back and forth, and it should be a fairly Easy concept, but I saw a new farm from Shulkercraft that could potentially, you know, make this a lot easier. So we're going to see how this goes. So this is the dirt we're sifting right here. And then we're going to need some blocks on the edge. Uh, like this to push or uh, to put the pistons on. So like this. So pistons will go here. And then, will the other pistons go here or one back? Pistons push this way. Let's see. Yeah, pistons push this way and then the other ones push back. Okay, we're gonna see if this works. Hopefully it does. If not, we could shrink it a little bit, but I think this should, this should work. Let's test this out. Um, I just need to make sure the pistons can actually push um, said blocks. So, but ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we're gonna be talking about mining your daggum business. That's what we're talking about. This is what we're gonna talk about. Like, uh, I feel like a lot of people don't don't hear it enough, and some people just gotta mine their daggum business. There's so many people. Oh, I need to. Oh, there. Um, so many people are so quick to judge other pe judge other people without a slight inkling of what they're going through. Um, you have no idea why that person's being a jack wagon or, or why that person, you know, acts the way they act. You have no idea. 
And so before you're so quick to judge, you should probably just ask, like, yo, dog, like, is there a reason, um, you know, you did that instead of this? So many people are so quick, so quick to jump to conclusions um, on why some people do it this way and why some people dress that way and why some people do that. Mind your daggum business, dude. Now, if it's clearly, like, affecting people in a negative way, I'm not talking about hurting their feelings. I'm talking about physically affecting them in a negative way. Then we can talk, you know? But if it's just simple as, oh, you know, you hurt my feelings or blah, 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 then, yeah. Um, mind your daggum business. And so I think a lot of people need to hear that. Um... Because so many people are just so rude to each other. It happens at work. It happens at, in Walmart. It happens in, on the internet. And so many people are just so quick. So quick to just judge each other. And it, it's, it's, really, it's really disheartening um, to see. So if you're one of those people, just, just don't. Just don't judge. Let people... Uh, let people live their life uh the way they are and just and just chill out you know here i, I place this wrong like this yeah i place these wrong um and and just and just and just leave them alone so many times it happens so many okay now you push this back um and it ha yeah it's so frustrating when it happens so frequently um Oh, sorry. I'm just kidding. It just it just happens so often. Like people are so just judgy, and I tell you what, if you're gonna judge somebody, you better have everything about your life buttoned up, cross your T's, dot your I's. You better have the most respectful kids, the the highest GPA. There we go. Okay. You better have the highest GPA, the most respectful kids. You better have the nicest cars, nicest house, every corner crack crevice of your house better be clean like everything better be running so perfectly um for you to judge people like i just it, it just happened at work today and someone judged someone i was like well did you do you, did you ask him like no will like do you did you didn't so you tell him you didn't ask why that person did what they no but like it's the right it's the wrong the wrong thing to do well, who said uh, uh, you know, it's like, dude, just sh shut your mouth, shut your mouth. So if that's you, just mind your daggone business, ladies and gentlemen. You have no idea, no idea what people are going through. You have no idea if the person's moping around and sad and upset because, you know, they lost a parent. You have no, no inkling of an idea. And I just want y'all to, oh, I placed that wrong, didn't I? I just want y'all to really think once, twice, maybe three times before you just you judge people. And and I and I'm not saying I'm the best at it, right? It's it takes a little bit of emotional empathy um to see um like that and then um uh, to see why people act the way they do. And so I'm asking you, I'm imploring you, I'm telling you just to ask the question, because it happened to me too. I was like, dude, why does this person not just grasp it? It's not hard. Like, it's not hard. And they said, well, uh, did you ask or did you tell the person to do it? And I was like, no, but that's something they, can, they learn when they're like fifth grade. And they were like, no, it's something you learned. Oh, we're running low, low. Are we running? Oh, we really are running low, low. Um, they're like, no, that's something you learn in fifth grade. This person didn't go to fifth grade. And you're just like, oh. Or like, dude, why does that person, you know. Like, for example, Katie's brother. I was like, dude, shave your beard. And I, like, yeah, just joking around. You could tell he's a little emotional about it. And I was like, dude, why, why are you not shaving, you know. Why are you not shaving? And he was just like, well, you know, my, you know, my dad never taught me. And I'm over here like, dude, I'm a POS, you know, like I didn't even, 
think to ask, like, my thing is, is like, I was taught to shave when I was, you know, 13, 14. Never in my mind did I think other people aren't taught how to shave. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, this is one of those things you feel real bad for. And it's like, not everybody's taught the same thing. So I just, I don't know. It was one of those things that kind of hit me today. And I was like, y'all, y'all are just so judgy. And so like, and this goes the same way for leaders when they hold their people accountable, right? The goal is, so when you're holding someone accountable, did you give them written guidance that says they have to do this? Did you give written guidance that says, um, thank you, that says what they have to do? Did you give uh, training, the proper training that says you have to do this, 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 this? Wait, did that not just go off? Hang on. Is this not right? Because shouldn't this go off? Hang on. Um. Hang on. Is this looking the right way? Um. Or is that the power of the block beside it? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Do I need to put a block here? Hang on. I'm, I'm trying to, um, like this. Oh, come on. Um, and that's the, that's the, that's what my, uh, one of my new leaders said. It kind of like hit me a little bit. I was like, yeah, there's something what they're supposed to. And, I was, and he said, well, do they know what they're supposed to do? I kind of was just like, there we go. Yeah, it works. And I was like, uh, now that I think about it, I, I don't know if they've ever been trained, you know? And so that goes for leaders too. Before you just go zero to a hundred and you just get so irritated and so aggravated. Like, dude, Jim Bob has not been doing what he's supposed to do for the past month. Did you even ask him like, hey, Jim Bob, do you know what you're doing? You know? And I didn't. I didn't. It was one of those leadership things where you kind of have to just like, don't jump to conclusions. Because you have no idea what they're going through. You have no idea what they've been taught. And just... Just... Sit down. Slow down. And just explain it to them. And it kind of just, it kind of just you know, messed me up a little bit. Because I was like, oh, I should, you know... It, you kind of get mad at yourself, too, after that. And it's okay. Um, but you gotta know... Okay. Did I do this right? <laughs> um, let me see if I can get some grass blocks. Do I have silk touch? I do. Alright, let's see. Um, yeah, it was just one of those things where I just got mad at myself. I was like, dude, you're such an idiot. You're such a jack wagon. You didn't even think to ask if, like, he knew it was going. It was just one of those... You kind of get mad at yourself, but like, then you learn at the end. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the mission, the goal, the vision today is really just try to learn your people and kind of learn what they went through, learn what they've been through, learn where they came from, and, and then that's how you hold people accountable. Make sure they're trained. Make sure they're doing the guidance. Make sure you've corrected them. Because it's okay if you, you know, this is what a lot of people get wrong too, is they, they try to say... Well, I've told this man, you know, six times. And then, well, they're like, well, or no, they said I've told him already. And then I ask, well, how, how many times have you told him? And they're like, well, I mean, just once. And it's like, dude, you really think someone's going to know everything in the first go around? I don't think that's possible. I truly don't even think that's possible. Um, and so tell them once if they don't do it. Ask them why they're not doing it. Reinforce it. Retrain them. And then just redo it. And then if they keep neglecting. Keep neglecting. Let's see if this works. Is it moving too fast? Or is it not growing because this block is not grass? Huh. Question, questions, questions. We're going to go back over here. But that's enough TED Talk for today, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you had a great Father's Day. Um, this video is going to be shorter than normal because it's Katie's birthday. She's 27. I know she's getting old. Closer to 30 than 20. Y'all wish Katie happy birthday if you're still watching the video. Y'all loyal. 
And then we will, um, I took Katie to a nice, like, a uh, nice rooftop restaurant, 26 floors up. You know, got her some makeup. Took her out for some ice cream. Come on now. And then what we did, which is really cool, was we had the kids surprise her um, with a cake. So we had a babysitter. And I was like, hey, uh, Miss Lavanda, can you, uh, you know, if I if I leave you a cake, can you make it with the kids and surprise Katie? And, of course, she shout out to Miss Lavanda. She helped out. And she, um... She helped bake that cake, and she baked it good, too. Oh, my God. I got a piece when I got home. Oh, my God. All right. Can we try this? Can we just show everybody that works? Ha-ha! Yes. It's only red and yellow flowers, but yes, it works. <laughs> But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go hang out with Katie. It's her birthday, so stay beautiful. Stay smiling. Peace.